Alright, what's up guys? I'm gonna make a quick demonstration on my uh, Ansel, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Ansel AD310 uh, code reader. So this is the first menu that pops up when you plug it in. Hit the enter button and it'll start to connect to the vehicle. <clears throat> Alright, and first thing that pops up is the uh, ready monitors, 3 incomplete, 4 OK. That's just, you know, the monitors needed to be complete to pass the inspection. And this is the, the main menu. Uh, read codes, you erase, erase codes. It does actually have live data. A lot of these uh, cheap, cheaper scanners don't have live data, which this one does. Freeze frame data, that's basically the... During the moment the code turned on, it kind of takes a screenshot of the data. Kind of like what, what your car was doing while the check engine light turned on. The uh, IM uh, readiness monitors, again, that's just the monitors needed to be complete. The IM readiness monitors, so there's like seven, eight monitors sometimes, every car is a little different, but basically these are the monitors that have to be uh, complete or okay in this uh, list for, for it to pass state inspection. So let me go through, this car does have one code on right now, stored codes, PE2096, lean bank one, okay, pending codes. So sometimes there'll be a pending code before it actually goes to stored. There could be a pending code and no check engine light actually on. And a stored code is basically going to go ahead and turn the check engine light on. Uh, you can of course erase the codes, which I don't want to do that yet because I need to look into what the issue is. Live data. Here's a list of the, uh, the live data this, uh, this scanner will show you. That's the... Uh, codes currently on one the fuel system like it is closed or open loop just kind of telling you what you do what your o2s are doing uh engine load uh i believe that's exhaust temp short term fuel long term both bank one and bank two rpm moment hour your spark advance uh intake and temp uh, mass airflow sensor, throttle position, bunch of O2 information. This is a uh, mill. So I think that's the distance traveled since the check engine light turned on. One mile. Evap percentage, fuel level, how many warm ups. Yeah, there's basically too many to just read off, but I'll, I'll go ahead and scroll through them so y'all can see for yourselves. Quite a bit of data for a cheap scanner. Really uh, comes in handy trying to diagnose stuff. And it's always good to uh, get a baseline. Okay, we're back to the top. It's good to get a baseline of your data before an issue comes up so you know what these uh, readings are supposed to look like when everything is okay. So let me go back to a, okay, freeze, freeze frame data. So. Uh, back to what I was saying, this should have taken kind of like a screenshot of what was going on while that check engine light turned on. So it'll kind of have all the data frozen in the moment my check engine light turned on. So it said, I believe it was a lean code. So the short term fuel right here, plus 14. So it was actually adding 14% fuel at this exact moment right here. I could kind of go look at the RPM <clears throat> and what the engine was doing. Adding 14% fuel because it was lean, it was trying to compensate. So yeah, in this moment, <clears throat> in this moment is when my check engine light turned on. And it is only on one side too. Okay, so yeah, passenger side, 3%. And the uh, bank one was 14%. So yeah, it was a bank one <clears throat> lean code. So at this moment, that's when the lean condition happened all right let me go on to the next the uh, readiness monitors you can look at them since the check engine light was cleared or this current drive cycle like this current uh warm-up but i always just do since since it was cleared and here are the monitors that need to be okay to pass the inspection you can't have one incomplete and still pass 
So this car evap, and not every car has every monitor, like these NAs are just monitors that this car doesn't currently have, but another car might. So I think it said it had three incompletes, yeah, evap, O2, O2. So yeah, th this really comes in handy when you're trying to pass the state inspection. You can check these on the fly and make sure your car's ready to go. Don't waste your time getting a state inspection when it's not gonna pass. So yeah, this is the Ansel 8310 uh, code reader. Highly recommend. I think I paid like $34.99 on Amazon. But yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.